<laughs> Don't make me laugh. Okay, oh, welcome man. back to Indie Now. <laughs> Every Friday, yeah. yes, our friend Christopher Lloyd from the Film Yap joins us. He shares his reviews, the best movies, even maybe some you don't want to see. Yeah. Chris, thanks for being here. Always great to be here. <laughs> you made us laugh before we went on the Sorry air. Sorry about you. that. <laughs> no, that was great, Chris. We learned something new about you that yes, we're not we going to share. We are not yeah, going to share great. it. Yeah. Yes. Hi, Chris. Hi. Hi. Chris. It's kind of a weird week. No new theatrical releases because okay. everyone's getting out of Batman's way. Mm -hmm. But a lot of other cool so stuff coming out, including some high-profile streaming releases. Okay. Well, tell us about it. Well, Turning Red is the new Disney Pixar animated movie, and it's on Disney+. Plus. Uh, and it's about a young girl. She's Chinese-Canadian. Okay. Um, and she is 13 years old and starting to go through some big changes in life, if you remember that age. Very awkward, and she's having a hard time dealing with her parents, particularly her mom, who's very strict. But she has a special thing, a special challenge just for her, which is that when she gets excited or flustered or things are going on with her body, she turns into a giant red panda. Yes, that's okay. right. She literally oh. transforms. She's got okay. a whole... I'm not sure if you call that a werewolf. Is it a marsupial wolf thing going <laughs> on? It's some kind of <laughs> lycanthropy, but... Yeah, very delightful film. Also kind of challenging. It takes on some tough issues about what it's like to be going through puberty mm -hmm. and oh. struggling with your relationships with, with your parents. So I really enjoyed it a lot. I'm going to be watching that tonight with my kids. And also, I have an interview with one of the animators of this film who is an IU grad in Hoosier. Hey, all right. Oh. So swing on over to filmyapsubstack.com and you can watch that right now. That's awesome. Oh, that's really cool. That's great. I love watching your interviews too when you interview directors and people involved with the movies yeah. because you know all the ins and outs. You so really it's do. Really great to yeah. watch. Talk to us about The Adam Project. So this is on Netflix. This is a big budget science fiction action adventure with Ryan Reynolds. He plays sort of a time traveling soldier who goes through times and uh, and does things, but now he's come across a big plot, so he's traveled back to 2022, and he has to enlist to help him his own 12-year-old self. Oh, wow. Uh, and so things are going on there, lots of action, lots of things going on. He also has to find about rediscovering his relationships with his parents, played by Julia Garner and Mark Ruffalo. So exciting, high-paced film, but also Alec Toombs has a review up on the film app. It said, surprisingly, a whole lot of feels. A lot of feels. In addition to the, the thing. Okay. So go check that one out. Oh, that's that cool. one looks the like Adam a good Project. one. Yep. I like that plot. Thanks. Yeah, yes, cool. yes. Kerrigan says she will see it for Ryan Reynolds alone. <laughs> <laughs> he only has one shirtless scene in this movie. I'm sorry. Just one. That's it. Kerrigan said that's enough. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. Chris, <laughs> what's new on disc? So we got uh, Yellowstone Season 4 is out. And if you're a fan of that series, it's a huge hit. Uh, you know, it's about the rancher family, and yeah. they've got their internal squabbles, and they're dealing with the folks outside. Kevin Costner, just a huge, huge hit. So that's out on Season 4. Go check that out to see what's going on. And... Another tease, head on over to Fill Me Up Substack. We are giving away a prize package worth $200 what? Oh, that wow. includes season four on Blu ray, a uh, ranch flask, ball cap, and a $100 gift card from Omaha Steaks. Wow. No way. You, you have till 5 p.m. today to swing over there and enter that contest to win. That's oh, great. We got the information there on the screen. That's a fun you giveaway. Got some great stuff going on I the know. website, man. I love that. Yes. Chris, we normally don't cover books. But what is new out there in the literary world? Well, I do like to do stuff when it's about like p like screen to page stuff. Sure. Yeah. yeah. So there's a new movie, uh, a book out called Blood, Sweat, and Chrome that's about the making of Mad Max Fury Road. Okay. Which, if you're a fan of that movie, like I am, movie. just a, a mm -hmm. cool movie. But this really takes you behind the scenes of a movie that was literally gestating for 20 years. Twice they started up production and had to stop. Had different cast, different things going on. A lot of cool insights in the book. My favorite was that Tom Hardy, who of course ended up playing Mad Max. Yeah. During the first one, he was so young, he tried out to play one of the war boys, those guys with the paint and all that. Okay. Uh -huh. That's how long the thing was going on. So, great book. Go check out my review. Cool. Wow. Great and usage then, of gestating, by the way. I yeah, know. You, just, I always love your vocab, Yeah, it was Chris. very nice. And we have a special event to talk about, too, Critics' Choice Awards. Yeah, that's yes. Sunday. The Critics' Choice Award, uh, that is formerly known as the Broadcast Film Critics Association, which I am proud to be a member of by virtue of appearing with you fine folks yes. here every yes. Friday. So, and as a voting member, uh, uh, I, I like to actually share my ballot with everyone. Okay. So you head on over there, I've shared how I voted in every category. You can actually see how the super secret process works uh, and see what I thought who should win. And feel free to disagree with me and leave a comment and tell me how wrong I am. He's okay. welcome I love that. the arguments. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Go troll Chris at <laughs> filmyap.com. I will take some light trolling. Yeah, some light trolling. Light trolling. Like that, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Chris, thanks Chris, so much, thank man. So much. Always a pleasure, you guys. Yeah. We love having you on.